Welcome to the channel. I'm Charlie from Sanu Motors. Today I got Fiat 500 2013 model customer stay vehicle has a overheating problem but she don't know actually what's going on basically she said she top up the coolant it's going down temperature gay going up and say check coolant system light illuminate inside that's it basically like this car has a common problem thermostat snap i'll show you i'm hoping same problem for the this car according to the sin terms and also normally if i get any coolant problem for the fiat 500 normally i'm open the bonnet straightly my mind going top of the gearbox this side normally i'm going to check visually inside you can see inside you can see red color or pink color coolant there that's mean definitely this underneath here there is a thermostat sit on here normally that's one leaking that's a common case for the this problem this is the part most time it's leaking have a look all this section metal this is the sensor temperature sensor and this side plastic imagine it sit on a car long time like this and car getting always vibrate then what happened when the this one get old this is 2013 car now nearly 13 8 years around 11 years after 10 11 years then after that normally this one going to snap from here that's a 90 percent happen for the fiat 500 we'll have a look what's going on inside and i'm going to find out the hose i can see visually but uh, i'm going to take out the hose yes exactly what i think it's happened yeah you can see it snap from here right basically it's snap from here we need to change it's not a harder job after that you have to bleed the system it's holding with two screw one here one that side then remove the old one and install new one install the because other thing this half away snap and sit on other tube little bit hard to take out from the hose but i'll show you once i do the job what we're going to do i'll show you step by step right part of the repair we need to get access there then we need to disconnect the battery sometime when you disconnect the battery radio might be asked radio code beware of that problem but normally by experience this car doesn't want radio code but never know latest cars behaviors We'll see how it's going on just keep in your mind and i'm going to disconnect the battery and i'm going to take out the battery you first you need to press this tab after that you can disconnect negative line right leave out of the way and after that going to disconnect this connector just press that tab and you can remove then you don't want to disconnect that terminal then after that you can go to the positive terminal you need a 10 mil spanner for that job right leave it out of way then after that we need to disconnect this strap I think it's holding with 13 mil nut bit corroded need to tap is number 13 
it start to spinning if you want you can use wd40 also well if it not do it very gently couple of time loose tight again loose and again tight then after that it will come out easily if it feel bit tighter then tight the nut again and make it loose or if you want you can use more WD-40 again small tip for you this is another common problem for the Fiat all nut and bit corroded so quickly right finally we remove the nut make sure not drop in right now we can remove the battery after that we can lift up this plastic cover or the base plate then after that we have access to other bolts it's holding with 3 13 mil 2 13 mil bolts and 1 13 mil nut basically i'm not going to use any power tool for this job because all nut and bits very delicate stage when you remove that nut be careful sometime it's going to drop inside but doesn't matter we are going to remove the whole tray if it going inside it doesn't matter we need to disconnect that connector right okay and the, there is a another connector attached to the tray that wiring loom right whatever attached to the housing you have to remove all wire harness check one by one and you can remove right after that we are going to disconnect ECU lift up like this it will come out and the other side also same thing right if it all wires out from the tray as a theory we can remove the tray another wire here connected to the tray another wire behind the positive connector when you do the job you know what you're going to do go with one by one that's it we need to disconnect that wire it's holding with 10 mil nut actually I don't want to take out whole tray I'm going to take out because of the video I'm going to take out otherwise just move to the sideway then we can make a space work around the thermostat however I'm going to remove now
right now we have a clear access to the thermostat and you can see the broken thing this is the broken hose i'll show you once i remove next step i'm going to disconnect main hose and the temperature connector when you're going to remove that clamp you have to lift up from the top like this then after that you can release that clamp right right we already remove the clamp to the big hose and the remove connector next step we are going to disconnect hose and after that we are going to remove thermostat holding with 10 mil two bolts normally it's bind with the thermostat what you have to do we have to use wd-40 and twist side to side okay now we need to wiggle turn side to side and try to remove the horse turn side by side yes that's right and up and down right go up and down right see it's all activate wd-40 then after that easily we can remove the hose right next step we are going to remove thermostat it's holding with 10 mil two bolts right make sure take out that rubber oh, it came out with the so you can see the leaking mark yeah this is the leaking mark right now we i'm going to remove the that broken connector little bit expand the mouth using flat screwdriver You can twist side to side that's right and pull just turn side to side and pull yeah here we are you can see it's broken from neck right next step i'm going to clean that surface right next step i'm going to install new thermostat i found a couple of jubilee clips because the old one can't reuse it there is another smaller tips we have to install the this black color tube first and clamp
when you do it make sure horse won't twist make sure it's in stay in a nice position otherwise after a while your horse is going to be crack now next step we are going to install thermostat and also make sure behind rubber seal or o-ring sit on nicely make sure it's sit on nice otherwise you ending with again leak and i'm going to say when you tight this bolt using quarter ratchet if you use in three quarter or half inch ratchet it's not feel to your hand sometime you might be ending with snap bolt be careful because of that better to use quarter ratchet when you use quarter ratchet you feel to your hand what's going on there do side by side always don't going to tight until for the end half away tight one side and go to the other end side by side do it next step we are going to install that hose and we can't use all clip then we are going to use another jubilee clip right next step i'm going to connect electric connector right then before i connect the battery tray i'm going to open this nipple make it loose that bd nipple screw and leave it like that right then i'm going to top up coolant make sure when you going to top up coolant match the previous color this one has a previous color you can see red or pink now we already top up and we have to wait until air come out from this nipple i can hear the air hissing noise now and after that we are going to quiz the horses quiz the horse please and the bottom horse right now i can hear still air coming out from there uh, if you can't see the level you have to hold the light from other side of the tank then you can see the level of the coolant hold, hold the light see when you hold the light you can see the coolant level now i can see it's slowly coming out from here you see the now coolant steady coolant come out then i can close that nipple now just hand tie right now bleeding process at the moment okay next step what i'm going to fix the battery tray and the fix the battery then after that start the car and have a look what's going on there right already we connect the ecu battery and the fix underneath everything now next step i'm going to give you another tips before i connect the, you can see that this negative line lay here before i connect negative line i'm going to open the one side door right leave it open and after that i'm going to connect the battery because sometime 
when I connect the battery, car will lock automatically. That's why I leave it open. Now, connect with steady hand. Right. It's connected now. And after that, I'm going to connect sensor. Right. And the need to tight. Because however, it's look like to me a bit loose. I'm going to tight a little bit. Make sure battery clamp. No turning or no loose connection if your vehicle has a loose connection it's ending with fire careful this is the good example for the loose connection battery you can see all burn out because of that careful don't going to leave it loose connection there right next step i'm going to start the car Right, it started and the next worry thing, radio, we'll see what's going on the radio, yeah, that problem also fine, radio working and I had to set date and time, that's what I'm going to do in a minute, then after that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to heat number four, fully heat side and this one from the circulation and this one need to be to the front glass and I'm going to keep it running the car and make sure no leaking around the engine bay area. I need to wait until engine heat up and warm air come then after that I need to make sure the that fan kick on at the moment we'll see the temperature 12 yeah at the moment it's 12 and make sure enough coolant here and also make sure leak not around that area I'm going to keep it high for the coolant level you can see the coolant level it's fine and keep it high any leaking around this area and also we have to wait until this fan kick on himself then if fan kick on no leaking if coolant level fine we are good after maybe 15 20 minutes i'll come back to you again at the moment i feel hot air coming through the vent we'll see with the meter See, it's 42. That's good. That's when the old system bled nicely. And I want to make sure no leaking around that area. He's going to check all okay there. And also, I have to wait until fan kick on. I'll come back to you once the fan kicks. I can see now fan working that's mean the thermostat open and it's spinning now you can see it's stopped now and also I can't see any leak underneath all nice and dry then the this hose I can feel red hot that's mean the thermostat open yeah all good, all went fine. This is common problem for the Fiat 500 snap from here. Bad design, metal and plastic. Anyway, you know, if you have a like this problem, if you have a cool and disappear problem, just come this side, have a look inside the car between battery and the engine bay. You can find the leaking. There, then just replace. Easy peasy. Thank you. See you in the next video.